let's uh, continue with uh, integration by substitution. So we want to integrate uh, 2x plus 4 over square root of 2x plus 5 and then check whether our integration is right by differentiation. Okay, so let's get started. So as uh, I always do, uh, a good way of doing a substitution is to uh, let the denominator uh, without the square root to be the u substitute or u. So let's say u, let u is equal to 2x plus 5. Okay, so this implies, let's differentiate it directly, so du by dx is equal to 2, which implies half du, uh, multiplying both sides by half, half du mm, is equal to dx. So in place of half, in place of dx, I can put half du. Now, but uh, we have got 2x plus 4 in the numerator. So can we write that also in terms of u? So, well, uh, if this is u, let me take away 1 from both sides. So can I say u minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 5 minus 1? So, well, so the u minus 1 becomes 2x plus 4 as simple as this. So we've got three substitution. We're going to substitute 2x plus 5 as u, 2x plus 4 as u minus 1, and so this is, a, this is the first substitution, this is the second substitution, this is the third substitution. Okay, so, so this whole thing changes to integration of, this changes to u minus 1 over this becomes square root of u times half du. Okay, so this is half times integration of, I'm going to distribute this, so this is u over u to the power half, square root of u is square, uh, u to the power half minus uh, 1 over u to the power half du. I'll keep the half out, so this is half times integration of, this is u to the power 1 divided by u to the power half, which is u to the power half minus u to the power negative half du. So which is half times, when integrating, you add, increase the power by 1, so this is half plus 1 is 3 halves, one and a half is three halves, divided by three halves, minus u to the power, minus half plus one, minus one plus two halves is one half over one half. Plus c, the constant of integration. So let's do a little bit of simplification. So this is half times, dividing by three half is same as multiplying by two thirds. So two third u to the power 3 half minus, dividing by half is same as multiplying by 2, u to the power half plus c. So let's expand with half, so if you multiply by half, so this becomes half times 2 thirds, 1 third u, I'm going to write this as u half, u raised to half q minus, this half times 2 is 1, so this is u to the power half, u to the power, oops, u to the power half plus c. So it's always good to write in a better way. So this is one half, one third times square root of u cube minus square root of u plus c. So now you know what is u, u is 2x plus 5, so this is 1 third times square root of 2x plus 5, the whole cube, minus square root of 2x plus 5 plus c. Okay, I just want to confirm how, whether this answer is right. So we're going to differentiate this, 
and check whether if you can get this back. So this is also a good skill of differentiation. Okay, so I want to differentiate this. So now my question is d by dx of this one third times square root of 2x plus 5 the whole cube minus square root of 2x plus 5 plus c. The integration of, sorry, differentiation of c is 0. So this, I'm going to use the chain rule. Uh, so it's 1 third times drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So this is, uh, here the power is 3 halves. Here the power is 3 halves. So let me write this in a different way. So this is, let me do one more step. So this is d by dx of 1 third times 2x plus 5 raised to 3 halves minus 2x plus 5 raised to half plus c. So that you can see the power clearly. So this is equal to 1 third. I like to differentiate the inside first. So the differentiation of inside is 2 times the outside. So this is 3 over 2 times 3x plus 5. So this is 1 and, one and a half. Take away 1, which is 1. This is 2x plus 3. Sorry, this is 2x plus 5. 2x plus 5. So this is 1 and a half. Take away 1 is half. Minus differentiating inside first. That is 2 times half times 2x plus 5 raised to half take away 1 is negative half plus 0. Okay, so we're almost there. So what will happen? So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. So you're left with this is square root of 2x plus 5. This is square root of 2x plus 5 minus 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. Okay, so this is this and this gets cancelled. So this is 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. Now if you cross multiply, this will become this will become square root of 2x plus 5 the whole squared minus 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. And if you expand that, that is 2x plus 5 minus 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. And that's what the integrand was. So this is 2x plus 4 over square root of 2x plus 5. So we have confirmed that the integration that we got was perfectly right. So you can give yourself five smiley faces.